If you play Siamese Mahjong and you're going to be playing in a tournament, there's a way that you can practice your decision making when you first get your tiles. You're on a timer, 17 minutes per game. So the faster you come to a decision, the more comfortably you can be during the drawing phase of the game. I call these Siamese sprints. For beginners, I think if you have a goal to make decisions in under four minutes is a good place to start. For intermediate players under three minutes and for advanced players under two minutes. And then if you want to improve, just push yourself into those other thresholds. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Let's see how it goes. So I have all my tiles out and I have my smartphone here. I'm going to set up a timer. That's just the clock app stop and a stopwatch feature. So we'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to say we're the dealer for these exercises. So I'm going to take 28 random tiles. Okay, you ready for sprint one? Okay, so here we have uh, red, white, two, four, five, sevens. Let's see if we can do a 2017 hand with these dragons, or you know what? Maybe we could do four or five dragon and then 2017. Look at all those discards. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, we need to rethink this. Okay, dragons there. Okay, let's, let's see. Maybe we could play all dragons and then down here we could play five seven five seven nine oh that's really horrible oh my goodness this is terrible okay these would be joker bait okay that's what i would do here i think so all dragons, obviously we're missing flowers. We could use this dragon in here. I would do all dragons, five, seven, nine, big odds. So I would keep this too, all five, seven, nine. Just keep every tile for that particular category. In this case, we're playing odds. So really, we could even keep the three because there is a pair hand that we could play so that is actually not too bad. I just didn't pick enough. So odds, or we could do a pair hand, you know, the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand with fives, let's say, or five, seven, five, seven, nine. There are several options for five, seven, nine. And then up here, all dragons. All we need is flowers and another joker or a dragon. That's how I would play it, I believe. And we would have two sets of joker bait and eight discards. These would be long shots for sure. If you would do something different, let me know in the comment section. I think a two, four, six, eight hand might work. Two, two, four, two, four, six, eight. The, the two, four, six, eight is not really lining up right. So I don't know, two, four, four, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have all these. Maybe the two, four, six, eight would have been better than dragons. I suppose we could keep these and see if that comes in. But I would like to leverage all these dragons. I just saw another opportunity 
two, three, four with opposite dragons. Okay, two, three, four with opposite dra Oh wait, wrong dragon. Yeah, well, I would hold that. See if all dragons comes in or two, three, four with opposite dragons. Concealed hand under consecutive run. Okay, so I think um, this has been analyzed enough. Do you think? Is that better? I think that's a little better. Let's do it again. Okay, let's see what happens. With we'll sprint two. Okay, multiples. I always start with multiples. American style is a game of multiples. 80% of the hands are multiples where you have pungs, kongs, and quints. So I think we have two, four, three. So I think let's pull all the one, two, three, four together. One, two, three, four consecutive. Let's just see what that looks like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one. I think we could get rid of the ones and maybe look at fives. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then up here, we could do a three, six, nine. Okay, these would have to go away. So we would have 11 discards if we do a 369 and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I'm going to lap. Okay, so 369, you don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three six nine. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. So I would just discard all of these. When all of those are gone, gather three six nine one two three four, and then pick a hand. That's how I would play this one. I need to shave off time. I'm over, over. Let's hope the next one is easier. Now, if I had to pick a hand, let's just say probably I would play the last one under 369 or the mixed suit 369 where we could use this, this, and this. But I would gather and not pick a hand till I run out of discards. Gather three, six, nine, gather one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, I would do, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, seven, nine, one, one, three, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine, one, five, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, five, nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. I think I would try for the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand with either ones or nines. One, three, five, seven, nine, 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 one,
we're kind of in between. And then for the second one, I think I would try for maybe a quint. Let's see. Oh, we'll keep that. So let's see how this would turn out. Okay, that's what I would do. So I would try to force a quint up here or a pear hand. I mean, not a pear hand, but either a quint or a year hand with this, in which case I would hold that too. And then down here, I would play the one, three, five, seven, nine with either nines or ones. Actually, if we did the nines, we could use this up here for a year hand and go ahead and get rid of these. So either a quint or a year hand. Um, we're equal as far as five this way and five this way. But this pair hand down here is really close. We would need a one bam, a three bam, nine bam, nine crack, four tiles away from a pair hand. I think that's what I would do. If you would do something different here, write it in the comment section. So let's see how things went. I'm sure I went over. I need to practice. Woo! That is hard work. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it. Sprint one, nine seconds over, and I actually kind of vacillated. So I'm gonna tack on 10 seconds. So let's just say I went 20 seconds over for that first one. Then sprint two, 16 seconds over. So that's 36 seconds over. And then sprint three, I was under by um, let's see, 12 seconds. So I went over for sure. So I need to practice. If I want to be under that two minute mark, I definitely need to practice. Give this a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you if you have a set at home. If you don't have a set at home, I'll leave a link below the video to get a really affordable set. It has a nice soft case and tiles just like these, 70 bucks. That's a pretty good price. So I'll leave a link below the video for that and also a link to the rules on how to play Siamese Mahjong. It really is a lot of fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.